traverse is a foundational part of horizontal alignment. It's simply a series of straight lines that are connected, and this forms the basis of our horizontal alignment. So looking as if we're from above, the traverse is going to be a series of straight lines that are connected, where these lines connect are going to be our points of intersection, or our PIs, and then eventually we'll come back and we'll actually connect these tangents, the straight lines, segments here, with curves to make them smooth, so there'll be a smooth transition from the driver as they connect from one tangent to the next. But this overall system is called the traverse, and a key thing to remember when we're working with the traverse is stationing, and that's, that's the distance along each of these line segments. And for English units, we're going to set our stationing where 100 feet equals one station. And we use the notation with the plus sign, so 1 plus 0, 0 is 100 feet, or one station. So we had some length of 57,000 12.13 feet. This is equivalent to station 57 plus 12.13. So when we're, we're dealing with distances along the traverse with horizontal alignment, we're going to use this nomenclature with the plus sign for stationing. So as we move along our roadway, Every 100 feet, we will have a station. Now, typically when we start with the traverse, we won't like to start with zero. And that's because if we end up needing to revise our traverse or our system, we have to go into a negative number, and we obviously would like to avoid that. So it's common to actually have your beginning point. Instead of it being at station one, you may have it, or station zero, you may have it at station 10 or station 100. This also allows you to reference other locations. So if you're adding onto an existing road, you may want to say the next clearest, the next nearest intersection is at a certain station without going into negative stations for this. And this process is really why we end up establishing the point of intersection as the key reference point. And when you're dealing with horizontal curves, we are going to be given the, the point of intersections as one of those key locations or one of those known stations that we're going to need to then move back from the PI to establish the actual stationing along the center line of the curve uh, to, for our proper station. So we'll come back, we'll add in the curve. In this case, we know the point of intersection that's going to be a given to us. So to, to reestablish our stationing, we're going to have to move back Along the tangent, if you recall that distance is a distance t, we'll move from the PC, the length of the curve L, to establish our point of tangency, or our PT. And so the initial stationing, in this case, let's say we had a PI station of 6, we need to move back the distance t to establish our PC location, move along the curve, the length of the curve to establish our PT. And so depending on what curve we design is going to ultimately result in these various parameters because in various alternatives, if you had a more gentle sloping curve, you would end up with different PC or PT locations as well as if you had a sharper curve, you would move those PC and PT locations closer to the PI. So all these elements will affect your ultimate stationing for your horizontal curve your horizontal alignment, and overall just modifying your traverse.